hey you guys welcome back to angel and angela and on this topic i wanted to just come on here and talk about the narcissist arrogance i wanted to talk about you know the arrogancy that you're going to experience dealing with narcissist people because as you guys know narcissists only care about themselves they only look out for themselves so if you're going to war you know, and you think that this person is going to look out for you or your children, you're sadly mistaken. This is an arrogant person. This is an arrogant person. They will use their kids as shields. They will use them. They will use you as a shield. You know, um, a narcissist has an inflated ego, which means that this person you know, could be on the street homeless and they're still going to have the same arrogancy that they showed you. So it doesn't matter how many times you go up and down with this person. They're always going to show that they're arrogant people. They're looking at you like, you know, discard me. If you feel like I'm abusing you, discard me, leave me alone because I'm not going to change. Or you better have the same respect you have for your boss, the same respect that you have for people that you work with, you need to have that same respect for me. They want you to have more respect for them even because they're like, I'm your partner. You know, even though these people are the people that you might be working with, people that, you know, your boss or something, you know, they almost feel like they're more superior than those people. They're more superior than others, no matter how much money they have. But then at the same time, they're claiming that they're more superior, you know, by sh by showing you this arrogancy. Um, but at the same time, you know, they pick and choose who they want to befriend, you know, who they want to, you know, admire. And a lot of times it's people who are doing better than them. Sometimes it could be people that remind them of themselves that they look out for, or that they res show respect to, or people who are of their race or their nationality or their religion and part of this arrogance is what gets the narcissist caught up every single time because their judgment is always wrong this is why when they leave for that new supply and they think things are going to be different because of this person's social status um they get deceived and and get bad karma bad luck because everything you know um everything almost sensed it, it, it almost seems to fall apart right in front of them because of their own arrogance the narcissist prides themselves in being arrogant they like being arrogant they like being proud of their own arrogance you know they they live in a world where they feel like hey i made it this far doing this and that so whatever you tell me means nothing to me you know, because I stand on my beliefs, even if they're they're not right, even if they're not right, because, you know, I, I, I'm in contact with other people um, in higher places than you. You know, I'm involved in my church and, and people know me in my community. If you're not coming to their church, they're treating you with disrespect like you're going to hell. You know, um, this is someone that you think that they're going to empathize with you or feel bad years later, months later, after you're done dealing with them. But instead, they know that you're looking for sympathy, so they're acting arrogant. They're like, oh, I'm going to be, you know, posting things. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to tell you that I'm happier now that I found my soulmate. You know, um, you might have told them that they were your better half. Now they're telling you, I found my better half. You know, um, so the arrogance never stops with these people. You can be crying in tears, ready to die, and they'll be arrogant, like they're better for, better than you. It will actually make them happy to see you cry. You know, because it, it makes them feel like, hey, my inflated ego must, must be real. It must be true. I must be that guy. I must be that woman. Because, look at you, you know, 
You're distraught over me. The arrogance just grew within them. Sometimes you might deal with narcissists who come from good families and you know their families taught them to watch out for people and their, their sob stories and now they don't have any empathy. So in other times you'll see people who are successful or who come from successful families and they look up to their parents, right? And their parents might not be narcissists, but they, um, they might behave in ways where they have confidence and, and, and they have a high self-esteem and they, they could be a little bit arrogant, but they, it's mostly all jokes. So these people can look up to their parents, but they don't really know what makes and breaks people because they've never been broken by a narcissist um, and, and they've been sheltered. So you'll see that with these people, they'll be very arrogant because they feel like I come from a good family. People respect my family. People respect my dad. People respect my mom, you know, and there's this arrogance about them where their families have already told them what signs to look out for and so other that they people, don't, you know, get exploited. And this person might not exploit people, but now they have a, a, a high self, uh, a high sense of entitlement. Meaning that they need the attention on them at all, at all times, you know, and they're willing to go over and beyond. They're willing to sell you out. They're willing to get you in trouble. They're willing to show tears like they're the victim. They're willing to, um, you know, get people get people to turn on you all because of their status and because people um portray this person as someone who comes from a good family maybe so now they're using these tactics um to get over on people you know and they don't really think it's a big deal they're like it's not a big deal i just ruined that person's life oh well you know um so they always have flying monkeys and people around them who encourage them encourage this behavior a lot of times empaths will get targeted you know um by people on the same caliber and 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 they learn their lesson and they get back on their feet but sometimes you can get caught up with a lower grade narcissist who will bring you down from the from the level that you're at and when they bring you down, they bring you down to the point where you lose everything, your entire family, everything, especially if you already initially had issues um, with narcissists within your own family. But um, when the narcissist leaves, they usually um, learn everything they can about the empath and the, and the dynamic of the empath's family. And then they seek out the narcissist which they'll sleep with your own family member if they have to but if not they'll find another another narcissistic family that has issues but this time they want to be a part of the bigger group they want to be a part of the narcissist group so this is why a lot of times they'll study the empath break you down and go find someone that you think is better but really they met their own match so i've talked to you guys about how narcissists will connect with other narcissists and sometimes low-grade narcissists will go into the world of these type of narcissists who are entitled right and um, they get over on them sometimes these entitled people go out and, and they prey on the poor they prey on the lower grade narcissist because they feel like they can outsmart that lower grade narcissist they feel like you know as long as I keep my hook on this low grade narcissist they'll do whatever I tell them to do the narcissist they'll get whatever they want from me but I'm getting something in exchange so these people start playing games with each other and that lower grade narcissist will be upset when that higher great narcissist gets over on them because of the simple fact that they can't get up on that pedestal that that person is on you know that person is on another pedestal than them so they will get highly upset at these people although they've treated other people wrong in the past you know they were just expecting the grass to be greener on the other side this is why people tell you to stay away from people's bad karma in their relationships because you don't know if this person that's playing the victim yeah somebody got over on them but there's no telling how many people th that person got over on and that's their so karma they admire these people but as soon as they become friends with these people they steal these people ideas they steal these people's plans 
they mimic these people um and then they become so arrogant to the point where they're like i didn't copy this person they copied me they want to be like me everyone wants to be like me it's all about me that's how the narcissist looks at things um, you know, they feel like this is their life and you're just someone living in, in their world. You know, um, a lot of times people can confuse confidence with arrogancy. So if you're someone that's been through a lot and you're confident in yourself, you're confident in the person that you are. A lot of times you're going to deal with people who might even have a sense of humor. They they act real arrogant. They act real bougie. They act real, you know, prissy and and. You know, but it's not in an arrogant way because they're not trying to demean you in any kind of way. They're just being themselves. And some people just don't trust people right away and they have the right not to trust. So the narcissist portrays like they're those type of people that, you know, oh, you know, that's the type of person I am. But um, they're constantly judging. They're constantly devaluing. They, they're constantly disrespecting others in a way that someone with confidence wouldn't do. Someone with confidence, you know, regardless of your status, they will still give you the respect. Um, someone with confidence, you know, that can be mistaken as someone arrogant, they're they're still going to do good deeds. They're going, you know, the narcissist pretends to do good deeds. They pretend this person genuinely does things and goes out of their way for you. But at the same time, they're arrogant because they have to let you know, hey, I could be an arrogant person. I could be just like a narcissist. They're almost making fun of the narcissist while portraying to display the same arrogant, arrogant tactics. Um, so they're you know, using those same tactics, but it's almost humorous to them. And, you know, they're more confident. They don't get off on looking down on others. The narcissist is someone that will drag you down to hell, to the bottom, to the pits of hell. They'll drag you all the way down to hell. And, and, and you might not have two nickels to rub together. And they're sitting here taking the last of what you have. They're taking your meal. And they're like, hey, I'm leaving you here homeless on the street. You're going to sleep by yourself tonight. I'm taking off with the car. And you're sitting here like, I don't have anything. The narcissist just took off with the car. This is someone that can be on drugs and they're still arrogant. That's what makes them so dangerous. Someone who is arrogant is someone who they're basically, they feel like they can't get any satisfaction out of a conversation unless the conversation is about them. That's what an arrogant person does. Everything, the attention has to be on them. If they feel like the attention's not going to be on them, they're going to act very arrogant like you're beneath them. But in actuality, they just don't want you to steal the shine. They're going to act like, hey, I don't want this person included in the group. It's something about them that I don't like. And everyone else, you know, might feel like, hey, this person has good energy. What are you talking about? The narcissist might not like that person just because they feel like, that person might be stealing their shine. So a lot of times if they feel like you're stealing their shine or they feel like your life is better than, than theirs, they'll still act arrogant because the moment that they become friends with you or they get entangled in your life, now they feel like they're better than you. Now they're mimicking you and all the things you taught them. And they're saying, I've always... I've always had this type of lifestyle. I've always had supply to give me whatever I want. I always had people buy me things. I've always had very arrogant people. Um, you know, they're like, hey, if I end up on the streets, uh, 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 all I have to do is go stand in front of a liquor store all day and and someone's going to fall for me because I'm that arrogant. Someone's going to give me a place to live. Someone's going to let me stay with them. You know, they always feel like they can always con someone into doing something against their will because they feel like those people are beneath them. So they feel like anyone that they feel is beneath them and doesn't see that their arrogancy is really um, sadistic. They feel like, hey, well, I deserve to exploit you, um, you know, and after they exploit you, they have this arrogance about them where you think to yourself, 
they're going to give me closure or eventually they're going to apologize. Eventually they're going to feel bad. But no, there's this arrogancy that's like very demonic almost because they know they did you wrong. But yet they're behaving in a way where it's kind of like if you say anything to me, to anyone, I'm going to hurt you because, you know, it's this arrogancy about them. Like you don't deserve to tell your version of the story. You don't deserve to speak up on, on what I did. You know, there's this arrogancy about them. They want you to respect them um, more than your own family members, more than your own kids, you know, more than your own friends. Like there's this arrogance about them that um, will slowly destroy you because there's no limits to their delusions and their fantasy world. Like there's no limits. It's like whatever you whatever you accept um, about this person will only give them fuel to act even more arrogant and hurt you and, and, and hurt the people around them who are there for them. So, you know, um, a narcissist being arrogant, this is someone that, you know, has no, you know, respect for people. They only respect certain type of people. Um, and even with those people, they're only limited to respect those people for a, for a while until they become jealous and, and start copying and mimicking and, and feeling like, hey, this person's life, you know, is not that great. They're not even happy. They're not even happy and they have more than me. So it's this arrogance like, I could have your life because you're not even happy with your own life. Um, there's this arrogance about them when you're doing something productive to grow um, as a person. You know, um, you they haven't brought you down to hell. They haven't took your motivation yet. So when they see your strength, when they see that certain things that bother them, you know, them confining to rules, them confining to the regular world um, of staying, you know, staying alive and, and being happy, you know, um, things like that bothers the narcissist. They're, they're looking at it very arrogantly, like there's something wrong with you because you're hardworking. So it's like, oh, you work hard. I don't work hard. You know, I work easy. I take from people. I work jobs where I don't have to work hard. So to them, it's like, if they feel like, even if they don't get paid much, they if they feel like they don't have to work hard for what they have, or they, they're working online, or they're being, you know, showgirls and things like that, they feel very arrogant automatically, even though they have bad days, just like everyone else. They have bad days, good days, just like we all do. You know, one minute you hit the lotto, the next you don't. So um, they want to act like they're always winners, no matter what, you know, um, they're, they're winners and you're a, lo you're a loser, you know, um, that's how, how narcissists look at people. Um, that's part of that arrogancy um, where they're only happy when you're staring at them, when you're looking at them, when they're, um, you know, stealing the spotlight, when they're, you know, um, when they're having fun, when they're drunk, when they're, um, you know, anytime they're getting compliments, you know, that's the only time the narcissist is paying attention when it's benefiting them. So this is how you know you're dealing with an arrogant person when it's only when you are focused on their life that they're happy. Anytime something's happening to you in your life, they're not, they, you know, so if, if good things are happening or bad things are happening, they don't they don't care. They can care less. Anything, any emotion that you see out of them, it's basically fake because, you know, they're getting ready to talk about themselves again. They don't care about your pain. They're like, I I went through that too. I went through worse. You know, so there's just always this arrogancy in them that their life was worse than you. Um, they don't feel sorry for you. Um, and you know, that arrogancy um, will cause the narcissist to do a lot of bad deeds, a lot of bad things behind your back. 
um, steal from you. You know, they feel like, hey, you don't deserve this, this item. You don't deserve this jewelry. I'll just take this from you. Um, so the arrogancy grows to just another level where now they, they became thieves. Now they, um, now they feel like they deserve more than you based off of whatever, whatever they've made up in their brains. Um, this person can literally be on the street and they could literally sit there and look at you and, and, and look at themselves like they're privileged, like they're more privileged, like, like, um, you're lucky you even have a job. You know, if I was, if I was on my feet, um, the people that I hang out with would never give you a job. And this person is like pissy poor on the street and still has the same arrogance, if not even worse, because now they're like, I deserve to steal. I deserve to go in your home and take a shower. I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. You don't know my life. You don't know my life. It's about me, 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 me. So that's what you're dealing with, like with someone who is arrogant and, and it's not normal. There's nothing positive about it. They won't look you in the eyes. Um, you know, they'll they'll look at other people, make eye contact with them and they'll demean you in, in, in front of everyone or they'll assume things about you and start saying things out of their own arrogance that's not even true and if you um you know if you correct th this type of person you know then they'll act so arrogantly that they can't even apologize or take back what they said instead they're focused on the fact that you called them out and now they're mad because they're like no one should ever call me out i know everything and even if i don't you still shouldn't call me out because I'm better than you. So, um, you know, I hope that this message, you guys, was helpful for your healing. And if you guys want to book a session with me, my booking information is on the description. Just give me 24 hours to respond to you. If you guys enjoy these type of podcasts, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.